Hi, Matt Garrett here again, and welcome back to the Niche Secrets video tutorials. This is video number two, brainstorming part one. Obviously, one of the simplest places to start a brainstorming for keyword ideas is right here on the Google search page. But the downside is obviously we're staring at what is effectively a blank page. So where are our ideas going to come from? Well, it's quite simple. We just have to choose the correct term to put in. So we could choose a term like get rid of. If someone's searching for get rid of, then it's a, a good keyword. They're actually trying to do something. So they're looking for information. It could potentially be an action term. Um, and Google will actually suggest things for us here. So get rid of the most recent or the most popular searches are looking like get rid of fruit flies, get rid of fleas, get rid of bed, bug, bed bugs, get rid of acne. So get rid of acne, that's a popular term. We can just choose that. And we've got that, we've got all four of those ideas just from typing in get rid of into the Google search box. So what we need to do now is actually open up a text pad and just start making a note of some of these keyword ideas. So we've got sort of a record of some ideas from my brainstorming. So I'm just going to put in get rid of, if I spell it correctly, acne. Okay, so there's our first potential search term. Now there were a couple of others there, get rid of uh, fruit flies, fleas, bed bugs. Fleas is probably going to be a good one. That's obviously for pet owners. So get rid of fleas. I'll just highlight that, copy it, and again, just paste it into our text pad. The idea here is to have a way of building up a whole collection of ideas so that we can then go to the next stage of actually doing some uh, research to find out whether it's a good term to go after. Okay, so let's go back and try another one in that search box. Let's try cure and my, okay, uh, cure my tragedy lyrics or cure my tragedy, cure my boredom. Those don't sound like great keywords for me, so I'm going to actually try something different. I'll go with cure for my and see what we get there. Okay, so we've got cure for myopia. Um, obviously, that's a health term. Cure for myeloma. Uh, no idea what that is, but we could pick either of those. And let's just pop that again into our list of keywords. And what was the other ones there? Uh, myeloma. Yeah, I'm not sure what those are. Uh, pain syndrome. That's probably going to be a good one. Any keyword where it's got words like treatment, cure, pain, Things like this, they're action keywords. They're keywords where people are seeking a solution to their problem. So it's going to be a good keyword to actually get some traffic on because if you can provide them with the solution to their problem, they're going to take action, hence it being an action keyword. Okay, so this is one of the simplest ways of actually finding some ideas for keywords. And it's not just uh, cure or get rid of. You can have uh, how to find, where to find, how to become, uh, all sorts of question terms, how to terms, things like that. And Google will actually come up with suggestions in here for you. The only problem is they're fairly limited. It's normally just four. Um, so there's not going to be massive variation there for you. But the good news is obviously the other search engines also have this popular keyword prediction service as well. So if we go across to Yahoo and type in the same sort of thing, cure, uh, we've got diabetes cure, hair loss cure, that's a good one, hay fever cure, hangover cures, tinnitus cure, bad breath cures. You see how we're getting some great ideas here very, very quickly, and these are popular search terms. Okay, so we could pick any of these. There's a, another 10 options there. And if we go across to Bing, they're going to have the same thing again. I don't think they do 10, but if we go cure, uh, cure for balance, baldness, sorry, toothache, gout, cure for gout, who gets gout? Cure for hiccups, great one, cure for sore throat, cure for vertigo. And there's another eight, there it is, I think, not 10. So you've got four with Google, you've got 10 with Yahoo, you've got eight with Bing, and these are all going to be slightly different because they're all based on their own searches that people are putting into Bing, Yahoo, and Google. But they're great search terms to be looking for because they are action search terms, okay? So you're starting to pick up the, the right ideas for the kind of keywords that we want to go for, keywords where people want some sort of solution to a problem, and all of these are going to be that kind of keyword. Okay, so let's actually grab a couple of these. For instance, cure for baldness. Let's add that into our list. So, cure for baldness. 
there's another one that we can potentially research. If we go back to Yahoo and see what we have here, uh, cure for hair loss or hair loss cure. That's another one that sounds like it could, could be a good potential. Cure for, oh, no, wrong way around. Hair loss cure. And I can't spell. And um, what else have we got here? Hangover cures. And headache cures, best headache cures. There we go. Okay, so we've already got uh, over half a dozen potential ideas here. Uh, I'm actually going to add one more in there, bad breath cures. That's something that if you have it, you're probably going to want to get rid of it. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine keywords, potential keywords here to look at. And that's just by typing in a few keywords, a few short terms into Google, uh, Yahoo and Bing. And it's giving us the ideas. Now we know these are going to be popular because these are popular search terms according to these search engines. So we know there's got to be good potential with these. But that's not the only way we can do brainstorming for good keyword ideas. There are a few other sites that we can use to actually come up with some ideas for us. So let's go and have a look at those now. Let's start off with another Google site itself. It's called Google Products. And if you go to google.com front slash PRDHP, or you can actually just type in products there, uh, and it will bring you to this page. Well, let's scroll down and actually have a look at some of the uh, popular items. Now, obviously, the iPad, very popular. Uh, different types of tablets, very popular. So that's a good market potentially to have a look at. Uh, tablet PCs, perhaps. Uh, if we scroll through here, uh, what else have we got? Mobile phones, obviously big markets. But let's go down to the, the next one down here, fall into the season. Um, we can go through these and just come up with some, again, different types of keywords. So wine chiller or slow cooker. Slow cooker could be a good one. Let's actually pop that down on our list. Okay, slow cooker or slow cookers. Uh, food chopper, that's another one. Uh, something similar to that would be a juicer, things like that. So kitchen items, kitchen equipment, when you can even go for a more generic term like kitchen equipment. Oops, if I can type it in and see what the potential is for that particular keyword. So here, this is a, another way of just getting some ideas from Google itself. But these are all sort of product ideas. Uh, we're coming up towards winter. There's obviously winter stuff in here. So wool coats, winter coats, that could be another potential keyword to have a look at. So that's Google products. That's another one that we can just have a look through to come up with different ideas that we might not come up with ourselves just through the search terms. Uh, let's have a look at another one. This one is called 43 Things. And this site, if we scroll down on the homepage here, it's basically got a whole bunch of things that people want to do. Uh, and there's some fantastic ideas here. What we got to start off with, organize my day. So uh, perhaps be more productive might be a good keyword to try there. Uh, have flat abs. Now, if we're going to uh, make a note of these, I'd put have flat abs. I'd probably also put uh, six pack abs as a related keyword, you see. When you're actually typing these ideas in, you should come up with some extra ideas of your own while you're actually just recording the ideas. What else we got? Um, get a job, so how to get a job might be a good one. Let's actually go for that. How to get a, maybe get a new job. Uh, a related one might be how to write a resume or how to write a CV. Do you see? So the idea how to get a job or how to get a new job helps me to come up with another idea, how to write a resume, how to write a CV, or how to answer interview questions. Okay, so these all these different ideas here can spark several other keyword ideas for you. What else we got? We got learn Lithuanian. Uh, languages tend to be quite a popular uh, search term. So once learn to surf, there's another one. Uh, learn French. Um, what else have we got here? All sorts of things. Finish my tattoo. Tattoos is a big market. Drink less soda. Um, drink less soda might be one for drink less alcohol. There is, in fact, to give up alcohol. Uh, so if we put in give up alcohol, if I can spell it, 
um, that might be again something we can expand into all sorts of alcohol related sobriety related let's say how to stay sober okay so another very variation on give up alcohol would be how to stay sober so you can see what i'm doing here is taking these ideas and expanding them and we're building up a bigger and bigger list of potential keywords and markets that's what the brainstorming is about to come up with this list of potentials that we can then go through and there are some fantastic ideas in here do homework the day i get it uh, never stop learning and maybe how to improve your learning how to improve your memory um, I think that's probably uh, improved memory that's probably a good one if I can spell it improve no I can't type correctly improve my memory so you can see just to come to a site like this and have a bit of a browse through can help you come up with no end of new ideas uh, how to get my GED I think that's actually a good term as well get by GED that's it's like SATs or something isn't it GED I think it's American term so I'm not sure um, so that's 43 things and that will help you come up with a whole bunch of new ideas these change all the while so pop in now and then and actually just make sure you've got this text file and every time you visit add to it so you're building up a list of potential keywords okay so we'll end brainstorming part one there so keep an eye on your inbox for tomorrow's email with the link for the next video for you, which will be brainstorming part two. Thanks very much for watching.